Got another torch in for testing via Bantac. This was sent in for review, the Claris 360X3. And this has four power levels with 3,200 lumens maximum output. And you've also got two strobe modes there. Just to show you what you get included, the wrist strap and a spare O-ring. There's the user guide as well as a micro USB charging cable. And Bantac also supply a battery case and a mini USB LED light. Now onto the holster quickly. This is a neoprene material similar to the other ones that I've looked at. It does have a cup at the bottom and that's for the torch which has that uh, rotary switch on it and I'll show you that later on. You do have the velcro fastening, a double loop on that and there's a belt uh, loop underneath that as well. Quick shot showing you the inside with that cup holder and I'll come on to that a bit later on. Looking at the torch now, it's a slightly above average size for an 18650. I've put the measurements on the screen for you and they've uh, quite an interesting design with this. They've gone for silicone on the midsection of the tubing rather than just going with a metal knurling that we usually see on most torches. There's your micro USB charging port and quite a firm cover on that you can push back in place. And this is the most interesting part is the uh, 360 switch as they call it, Claris. And this is made of silicone as well. It's a single piece, molded piece. So the main switch in the middle and the outer switch are all molded together. Initially I thought this was plastic, but it's quite hard silicone and it just has a small amount of movement to it. And I think that's a good move because um, if you had plastic that could get possibly cracked if you drop it. And it does actually feel very good, much, much better than I was expecting. Now just unscrew the uh, base cap in a second. That's one area where I think could be slightly improved. It tends to uh, grind very slightly on the clip. Clip is quite strong on this and they've made it a bit longer than the previous Claris torches I've looked at. There's your contacts inside with the spring. Battery that is included with this is a Hydrain cell. It's rated to 3100 milliamp hour and this is a protected cell with the high drain but you can use other cells as I'll show you later on and this is the LED as well as the anti-reflective coating. You'll notice that we have quite a light texturing on this, not really heavy texturing and you can also unscrew the stainless steel bezel. You do have some options with this for uh, switches, you can get a weapon mount as well and filters, haven't got those to look at and inside there's the spring at the top, can't take the top off, that's thread locked. What that means is you can use flat top batteries like this one here and just drop it in and it will work no problems. You can also charge them in torch as well so that is a nice feature to have. Plus if you do drop the torch or you weapon mount it the dual springs absorb the shock so it won't damage the battery. As far as fit finish and feel goes on the Claris I do like it. It's something a bit different in the market. There's been a lot of uh, fairly similar torches out recently and this is something quite unique. It's a different take on the uh, dual switch with the paddle switches on the bottom. So you have a total of three switches on this in total which does make it quite flexible. So if you push it right on the edge nothing happens. You have to really push it down quite firmly and there is quite a bit of pressure that's required on both the main primary switch in the middle and the outer one. So it's not that likely to activate by accident. There's your battery level indicator from Claris, very similar to their other torches. I think it's quite a useful feature to have. Um, it does give you a good idea of your battery remaining capacity. And this is the shot showing you putting it into the holster and that cup at the bottom, the holder, which uh, holds it in place. And what happens there is when you slot it in, it doesn't actually contact the 360 switch at the bottom. So it doesn't matter how hard you push, it won't accidentally activate it. Now onto the user interface, single press for the side switch, it does have a mode memory, uh, long press off and single press to cycle through the power levels, that goes down with the side switch. To get into the strobe just double press and double press again to cycle between them and then if you single press it takes you back to your last setting, if that was off obviously it goes off or back to the last power mode you were in. Long press for about a second will take you automatically to the low. If you continue to hold that in it will take you into the lockout and it will flash to let you know you're in the lockout. So that locks the side switch out only, not the base or tail cap switches. 
so bear that in mind you can just give that half a turn to lock that out if you want to I've not had any accidental activations with the base switches I just think that's a precautionary measure and the uh, base or tail switch in tactical mode main switch is your momentary turbo and then the outer or ring switch gives you the strobe so you have instant access to strobe in the, the tactical mode and if you hold that in it will maintain the strobe uh, continuously so two ways of getting to the strobe if you're in the tactical mode you can use the uh, ring switch or the side switch whichever you prefer when it's on the ring switch will cycle three power levels that's when you're in the tactical mode and um, it misses out the mid to switch between the modes hold the side switch and the outer ring switch in for about five seconds and the number of flashes will tell you which mode you are in now i will cover the outdoor mode so once you're in that the ring switch lets you into the instant low that can be momentary or if you hold it in then it will stay on and then you can cycle up all four power levels you can also long press it to switch off the torch so you can have operation from this just with the uh, two base or tail switches in case that seems complicated i have put the user guide on the screen for you you might want to go back and re-watch that essentially it's pretty much the same as the other claris torches that i've looked at so the ring switch just substitutes the paddle switch on the other models which i've reviewed if i compare it size wise to the nightcore mh25 gts i'll be doing a review on this soon it's a little bit bigger in terms of length and girth but it's still reasonably compact for an 18650 torch underwater test didn't see any issues with that i'll show you the switch there as it's a single piece that's probably why they've designed it like that to keep the water out onto the charging test red charging green complete touch over the ideal 4.2 volts but it was close enough also did a quick test on the battery results are up there for you in the picture start the beam shot test off with the high mode at 400 lumens and you have quite a big jump up to the turbo level of 3200 i do think they would be better with an extra level in there but it does seem a little bit brighter than the 400 lumens so mixed beam on this you have a bit of range and a bit of spread compare it to the night core which i haven't done a review on yet that has more range it's a more focused beam but less spread and then I'll also show you the Rofus MR50 similar power output but that has an even wider spread than the Claris torch particularly at the edges of the frame time to run a bit of music now and I'll come back with a few thoughts and a summary at the end of the video
testing out the Claris 360 X3. It's one of the more interesting torches that they've come out with in recent times. This to me works better than the XT 11X, which I think would have been better with a smooth reflector. Saying that, there's a couple of points that I think would be worth noting. Mainly that extra power level, maybe around about 1200 lumens, would have been nice to have included that. Apart from a couple of other small points, I actually like this torch quite a bit. Interesting design on the uh, tail or base cap switch with the 360 degree ring and it works really well in practice and it has a really good tactile feedback. If you've got any thoughts or ideas for torches of this particular design or what you would like to see do leave a comment below. I do think makers over a period of time do take that on board and thanks very much for watching.